Look at the life of Nabi Allah Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam. Known as Noah, Hazrat Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam was tested by the flood. All the world was flooded. Everything that Hazrat Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam held dear to himself were all cramped onto a boat, onto an ark. Hazrat Anu was tested, his wife, his children, they thought that the mountain will be better in helping them than having yaqeen in the Prophet of Allah Azawajal. Look at the life of Hazrat Isa alayhi salatu was salam, known as Jesus. Hazrat Isa was tested with poverty. Yani, we have narrations that if Hazrat Isa والسلام, would have breakfast for many days, he would not have anything to eat. You see this when you visit churches. You see, they give you two things. Something which represents the blood of Hazrat Isa and something which represents his body. Yani, two things, bread and wine, even though it is haram. But let's for a second think bread and water. Yani the life of Hazrat Isa alayhi salatu was so simple that till today, those that go to the church, those that are Christians, they are reminded that how simple the life of Hazrat Isa was. Yani Hazrat Isa alayhi salatu was was tested with poverty. Then we have Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu was a very close prophet to Allah Azawajal, a prophet known as Khalilullah, a prophet that would speak to Allah, was a friend of Allah, like Hazrat Ibrahim. But Hazrat Musa was tested by what? By the tyrant of his time. Hazrat Musa, when he was about to come into this world, Pharaoh was told by his people, those that did astrology, that there is going to be a boy born, and because of him, your kingdom will be destroyed. So what did Pharaoh do? He ordered that any child born that year, Pharaoh had him killed. But look, such a hard tyrant that tested Musa, tested the people of Musa, tested them in every way, did zulm upon them, that eventually they had to flee from Egypt. But Hazrat Musa, did suffer. Yani even Musa was tested. Nabi Allah Ibrahim was tested by the fire. You have all heard the story. Musa was tested by the tyrant. Ibrahim was tested by the fire. Thrown into a burning fire. And then we have Hazrat Harun, who is betrayed by his own people, Nabi Allah. Similarly, Hazrat Sulaiman was tested by power. Yani the ring of Sulaiman. <coughs> Can we have a loud salwat, please? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hazrat Sulaiman was tested by power. Yani Allah gave Hazrat Sulaiman so much power that every single animal, every single thing in this dunya was listed to Hazrat Sulaiman. Yani the kingdom of Hazrat Sulaiman was such a big kingdom. That when the final time of Hazrat Sulaiman came, he went to the roof of his palace and he's standing, holding his stick and he's looking at his kingdom. And the angel of death came and took his soul. Narration say that for three days, the body of Hazrat Sulaiman stood on the palace. And when the wind came, the stick fell and Sulaiman fell to the ground. His people knew that Hazrat Sulaiman has passed away. 
Yani Allah tested even Nabi Allah Suleyman. And then Allah tested Nabi Allah Ayyub. Those that have been to Iraq, he is buried in Hilla. Nabi Allah Ayyub was the most patient Nabi. He did sabr. Allah tested Nabi Allah Ayyub. That narration say that 18 of his sons, they were killed. The roof collapsed. All of the sons of Hazrat Ayyub died. Then Hazrat Ayyub fell in. People came. Ya Nabi Allah, your sons have died. You are ill. You have no food. You have no water. Leave the religion. But what did Nabi Allah Ayyub show us? That even though he was ill, he did suffer. But it wasn't an illness for one or two days. The Rashi say that for many years the illness continued. It developed in a rush. The rush then turned into boils. The boils then turned into infectious boils. And then they were infected in such a way that for many kilometers the smell would get to people. His own people said to Nabi Allah Ayyub, we want you to leave. The narration said that Nabi Allah Ayyub was thrown into a jungle, all alone. His wife, they say, helped him. People still send messages. Ya Nabi Allah, your children have died. You are affected with illness. You are infected in such a way that boils and pus and blood was coming out of the body was there. Nabi Allah Ayyub. Still, Nabi Allah Ayyub carried to do the zikr. Then, Hazrat Yaqub was tested by blindness. Missing of a son, Hazrat Yusuf. Nabi Allah Yaqub cried so much that he went blind in the love of Nabi Allah Yusuf. Even though Nabi Allah Yusuf wasn't the only son of Nabi Allah Yaqub. Allah tested him with blindness. Then Nabi Allah Yusuf was tested with separation. Separation from his father, Nabi Allah Yaqub. Away, not able to be with anyone. For many years he was thrown into a well. If Allah, now remember my final words, Allah tested his prophets. Allah tested Nabi Allah Nu with the flood. Allah tested Isa with poverty. Allah tested Musa with the tyrant. Allah tested Ibrahim with the fire. Allah tested Harun with betrayal. Allah tested Suleiman with power. Allah tested Ayub with illness. Allah tested Yaqub with blindness. Allah tested Yusuf with the separation. Then who are you and me to ask and say, Ya Allah, why me? Allah has tested all of his prophets and not forgetting what happened in Karbala we the believers of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad we the believers of Imam Hussein Imam Hussein yani every single thing that the prophets were tested with Imam Hussein faced all of this test in Karbala 